You are the center of your own universe, the creator of your own reality, the captain on your own cruise ship. You are the composer of your own orchestra. Nothing comes to you by accident. No, you are not that lucky for there is no luck. Nothing is by chance. There's no bias. There's no injustice. Yes, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Contrary to what you may think, life is not unfair. It actually plays by the rules. There are no coincidences, no special favors, no friendly gestures from the laws of the universe. You see, you must polish your own boots. You must walk your own path. You must milk your own cow. You must earn your own keep. You must deserve every penny of your payout. It is solely you. You are the one, that special one, living in this body. You wanted this. You said, "Give me this opportunity, and I will go forth and create my experience, and I will learn valuable lessons along the way, and my spirit will be strengthened by them." So here I am, vibrationally attracting my present moment, energetically composing my next future, attracting to myself the sum total of all my thoughts and what I choose to focus on. So you see, if I'm not happy, then I've been choosing wrong. The irrefutable laws of the universe, as unshakable as they are. Is merely giving, giving back what I put in, doling out exactly what I focused on, and bring into my doorstep that which has my energy and attention written all over it. My soul signature, signed, sealed, and delivered to this earth. My vibrational footprints. It's all been calculated, added, and multiplied. Bearing fruit, juicy and sometimes not so juicy, all of which I must now taste. It will be sweet, or bitter sweet, or just very bitter. <sighs> It's all of my choices that's being fulfilled. They know where you've been. They know who you are. They know where you're going. As long as you can think it, you can be it. If you think it long enough, it is. So be careful what you think. You have created this exact moment. You are creating the next hour, the next day, the next year, the next Earth life. Life is not happening to you. You are happening to you. You are either seeking the way. Standing in your way, or creating the way. Life has not been made difficult for you. You have created your level of difficulty, and only you can ease your suffering. Your experiences are exactly that; they're yours. You move the chess pieces. You attract the knights and the bishops. They are your family and your friends. You reset the game with every new incarnation. Love is the playbook, and every time you deviate from it, you lose. How many games must you play to come to your senses? There's not a lot of time, my dear. Don't you see? We are past twelve on the clock, and the thirteenth hour is dire. If I've learned anything in my years on this earth, oh, it's how transitory everything is. Nothing is constant. Everything is in motion, ever changing. The impermanence of life. So why hold on too tightly when it's all subject to change? Why make it a do or die when true life is eternal? How many pharaohs and emperors? How many kings and queens? All but forgotten. Can you reach for the unchanging? The undying, that eternal part of who you are, in this game called life, the gentle may outlast the strong, 
The passive will stand spiritually higher than the active. The calm would outlive the chaos, so that peace may one day reign on this land, and the earth may finally taste a bit of heaven. And he who remains spiritually alive will still have purpose in this creation. He will taste that heaven on earth. But he who is inwardly dead will die a thousand deaths in disintegration. It's time, don't you think? It's time to live truly and simply, knowing that the laws of this creation. They see you, they know you, and they give to you, according to the measure of what you give. So give good, think good, say good, do good, and just be good.